Guys, it's Ben here, the editor of OPM. I'm here with the editor of PlayStation Access, Nathan Dighton. Hello. To talk about FIFA 14. It's like a FIFA... It's like a reunion. It's like a reunion, it's a like reviews we, editor reunion. It's like we haven't um, been playing it at lunchtime. Ever. We're actually watching Man City, Man United, which is quite topical because uh, yesterday, of course, Man City hammered United 4-1. Um, so, yeah, uh, I've been reviewing the game this year. Um, if you look elsewhere on the site, you'll see that I gave it 9 out of 10. Um, I'm really enjoying it. The reason I brought Nathan in is because he is an even more long-standing FIFA fan than I, and yet he is slightly more dubious of this year's game, so we thought it would be a bit balanced to have someone who loves it and someone who is maybe constructively critical of it, but still enjoying it at the same time. Yeah, it's definitely, I think, out of the two choices, and I think Pez has improved this year, but I still think out of the two, you'd you'd go FIFA on quality, for sure. Because you have a man in the office with you, Rob Pearson, who is very much a Pez convert. He's pro-Pez, if that makes sense. So we've had more arguments this year than perhaps any other over the two football games, but I I agree with you in the fact that that I think FIFA is still the better game, but Pez has come on leaps and bounds, and, you know, the stuff they've done with that engine, um, there's some real promise in there. So what... Let's talk about the good stuff first. For you, what what are the say the, the the one or two things that for you that stand out for FIFA this year in terms of improvements? Well, the, I'd say that the, my confusing position is that it's probably the most noticeable change that it's been for years, and and also maybe it hasn't changed enough. Generally, I think okay. I've got frustration that it has it just hasn't got as good as it could have done, given all the dominance that it's had. But this year, the best things are so the the, the key things which that which you know which EA have been pointing up are the precision movement um, and protect the ball um, and nice bit of precision movement there from, there was uh, any the way he pivoted around the ball and, and I guess it, in, in a positive sense I've been talking about the kind of when it clicked for me the the final third action became like basically completely exciting yeah. whether, whether I was on the break and I, and I think that the quick passing uh, or the pivoting around the ball and the through balls are excellent this year but then one thing I think long standing weakness which is in my experience over the last few days has got right this year is that you can build up pressure around a penalty area and you can pick angles and, and break down a defence like you know the classic Barcelona style um, in a way you couldn't before I think things were much more like the, the tendency would be that the defence would clear it yeah I think for me I, I, I agree with you on that I think watching a game between two I'm going to say lesser sides here and be <laughs> make everyone in Edinburgh furious but um, we're watching Hearts versus Hibs here I think for me I started a career mode as Exeter and the thing I really liked is um, by playing two big target men up front I could actually play a long goal, ball game to a certain extent like in previous games it's felt like whatever team you are you still have to try and play a perfect passing like game like Barcelona yeah, yeah. whereas now you can actually play to a team's strengths um, and with, as I say with Exeter I found that um, you know I put these p- two big lumps up front and by playing quite directly getting the ball out wide and pumping balls into the box I had a, a moderate level of success doing that which I wouldn't have had in previous years so you know and, and a lot of that is because of the individuality of players where for example a big tough target man when you throw the ball to him from a throw for instance he'll actually hold up the ball he won't just let the defender like come around him as if he's not there and take the ball away and I think that kind of variation it's not perfect but it does take the game forward again to a level like you said that it hasn't gone forwards for for a good 7-8 years probably since the last jump in uh, console generations from PS2 to PS3. Yeah, well, I, I guess my I guess the, the, my feeling about the series as a whole is that when it started this generation, you know, its target was Pez is better than us. We have to become the best football game in the world. How do we do it? And they had like this vision of how to play football. And once you get to the top, I think it's easy to plateau and say maybe we don't want to tinker too much. I think this year they have it feels more different in the hands than it has done for ages. And I guess like we could talk through the the hands on differences this year you press like L2 L, L2 used to be the uh, skills modifier and now that is every time that you press it you hold it down you're, whether you're attacking or defending your guy's going to fight for the ball and when you're on the ball he, he goes into the old kind of squat and arms out and, and I find that it's both very good and physical and if you use it right you can pivot but I found it had a, a small tendency to you'd be off balance and the ball would be slightly further away from your body than you might like and I found that defenders could maybe like second get like sure. I should know where the ball's going better than the defender and yet the defender would come in and, and nab it a bit well I had a few frustrations with kind of tight control which you know we, we just talked about yeah. has been one of the strengths of the series to date you're looking at the I'm menus. looking at Crystal Palace in the uh, Premiership because uh, uh, this is the career mode which well, I've, okay. I've played a fair bit of uh, so career mode has been reworked this season the UI is all new as you can see uh, you have this system now where instead of searching for players just by you know ratings out of 100 you actually have to employ scouts and these scouts go out and search players for you and actually your son told me a hilarious story where he hated it so much he fired all his scouts he was just like yeah I'm not doing that not sure has he got back that. into it again or is he he's, given up on career mode he's playing a career mode at the moment yeah 
Um, but yeah, I, I think it's a, a, like the new interface is a massive improvement. Um, they've got rid of all the sort of Sky Sports tied in stuff. They've basically just gone for something clean with these big rectangular panels where you where you basically neg- navigate around the mode by clicking on those. Um, uh, and the, the 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 actual scouting stuff works really well. You have to put a bit more time into it to get results. But again, playing as Exeter. When I searched for a defender who was tall and I think it was hard in the tackle, etc., it didn't throw up like you kind of Premiership guys that couldn't sign. It threw up targets from their own who, around the world who are realistic signings, and that's what you kind of need from a mode like that. Have you spent any time in career mode yourself? Uh, only a little bit, and I didn't really do the scouting. So. Okay. So I was constrained mostly on kind of the, the you know the way it plays football, and I, and I guess one of the other things that kind of exhausts me about the game is that there are loads of really really good modes that compete for your time and I'm never sure yeah. like the career mode I mean do you do career mode and FIFA Ultimate Team I mean, and how I did a couple of years ago I, I've got a baby now so I don't have time so yeah you have to sort of commit to one or the other don't you and then yeah. it's really hard to sort of judge it as a necessarily as a, a package which you know it's still our job to do it but because as a as a critic or, or even as a, as a gamer it's going to be highly unlikely you're ever going to spend say 100 hours in career mode and 100 hours in ultimate team yeah, unless yeah. you basically it's FIFA really is your life it's competing with itself really um, yeah it is competing with itself what my, I've not got to do yet because the servers aren't on but uh, one thing I'm really looking forward to this year is co-op seasons yes because seasons I think has been one of the one of the places where they have kind of quite elegantly said well people like playing online how can we make that more exciting well with relegation and now with friends too co-op still being the best way I'll tell you what would be interesting if anyone's out there tell us if, if they still play the uh, 22 man online do you remember we did that for years back Pro and clubs, yeah. it was chaos because yeah. everyone just sprinted off the ball all the time there was no actual realism to it at I think, all I think that they try to uh, curate I think is the right <laughs> word at the moment so there's a mode the mode is uh, pro clubs and you have to be I think you have to be reasonably serious yeah. to want to get into pro clubs and if you just want to jump into a game they only let you do 5 on 5 precisely because yeah. 11 on 11 games become you know like just kids football at lunch or those old <laughs> medieval games with just entire towns chasing a ball uh, who are we looking at here? Arsenal versus Ver- 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 someone? Verona. Verona we should know is this. A place. I know this is this is showing us up. It is the um the, we saw the lightnesses a bit there. It, it, it's uh, for a bit there. Uh, it's really funny because some players FIFA gets so much better than players, and some players players get so much better than FIFA. You think yeah. one game would graphically be superior than the other, but actually in terms of lightnesses, there's a fairly even split. I guess it's a resource thing, isn't it? I think they they have like a scanning thing for like high profile players in there. In the, in the top league yeah I think Arsenal was Meek saying Arsenal been scammed this year yeah he would know yeah Koscielny looked very good but then yeah I was playing last night you know and Welbeck still looks like generic, generic football man yes oh has that gone in it's hit the post it's a bit of a scramble um, what, what you don't see here but I really like is especially when you play in career mode like all those overlays there when it's come up with EA Sports Football Club um, you actually see like uh, the Premier League logo and in the League Cup you see the Capital One trophy like come up I think those little touches same with Jeff Selling now does uh, he like feeds you into the game he does some half time chat he does some end of game chat Jeff Stelling. it's yeah. the sort of stuff you know me and you have, have uh, like I said we were both reviews for OPM for a uh, considerable amount of time and with sports games it's not just about the on field gameplay is the the crucial thing yeah but then it's also about what you do around it in terms of depth. And I think the more you can make it feel like a broadcast, in the same way as MLB The Show and NBA 2K have done in the last few years, yeah, sure. the better the game feels. Um, and I think having a, you know, that, that's where it's kind of Pez misses out. When you see Pez start off, there's nothing in there that. that <coughs> the game. Ness and Dorma, was it? Is that like, <laughs> yeah, you know, Ness and Dorma's like, great. That is but in terms of the commentary and the things going on around the football, there's nothing in there that sucks you into that world, makes you feel like you're playing a TV broadcast. It's weird that you remember, yeah, true. And it's weird that you remember, um, <coughs> it's weird that you remember Pez in the old days and how easy it was to defend the time you'd have to spend editing and remaking the teams and that I didn't really mind that it wasn't the real badges and stuff because the gameplay was so good and now that they're m- on much more of an even footing you know we booted up Pez in the office the other day and I'm, I'm playing with North East London I'm just like what what yeah <laughs> what it's I a bit do? sad um, I, I mean yeah it's the thing you, with FIFA you, there's so many licenses in there you kind of take it for granted but then when you go back to playing Pez especially now when it's much improved you do realise how impressive FIFA's lineup is you know it kind of it's got I think 20 additional 
Um, Brazilian. Brazilian clubs this year they just keep on adding teams um, yeah. whereas you know I think who was playing I think Meeks was doing the, the, the FIFA review sorry the PES review and was saying that there's only two German teams in PES so you think how big the German league now it was an all German Champions League final to only have two teams in there yeah, you know you kind of you really have to take that into consideration when you're judging one game against the other is the, the truth of the matter um, and yeah you know when you're playing a, 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 a career in um, in FIFA and you've got like in Capital One Club you can draw any club, club in the league you just can't do that in Pez you know that's that's the relative situation we're in anyway I have uh, gone on for for long enough now um, please do check out our review as I say it's uh, it's on the website now we've called it 9 out of 10 and Nath thanks very much for joining me to talk FIFA 14 a pleasure